The sand is like pure, like flour, like the cooking ingredient, flour. The sand is really like a pure, and there's a whole story of how the sand got so pure. But the island's very beautiful. It's, it's lots of uh, nature to it. Uh, there's lots of uh, hotels now here because so many people come here. Before, in 1982, there was one luxury hotel. It was called Paradise Garden. And that was it. It was like a backpacker place. Only like a few people knew about Barakai. Like, oh, go to Barakai. And nobody knew about it. There was no internet back in 1982, I believe. And so now Barakai is just very famous and everyone knows about it. There's lots of hotels. There's not one. There's probably like 1,000 though. There's a lot. And the island's really changed a lot. That's why they're working on preserving the island like this. The sunsets aren't as marvelous as the summertime. The summertime is really, really amazing. But tonight, you know, you never know. Barakai is an interesting place. It has two sides of the island, and each side of the island every six months has what's called a habaga season. We're in the habaga season on the front beach right now, and that's where the wind blows a little bit, the waves are a little top. And then when this side calms down and becomes beautiful, like towards the summer, then the other side has the habaga season. So you just go like one half a mile on the other side of the island and you have habaga season. And then you go a half mile on the other side and it's like nothing. It's pretty strange that you have just an island that's only a half a mile wide and you can go just a, two minutes on the other side and get the windy habaga. And then you can go two minutes the other side and you have beautiful calm waters with no wind. So that's pretty strange. I never heard of that before.